Hello and welcome to Oceans Explained. This is a short video on defining fish stocks, which is very similar to the concept of populations in traditional biology. So a fish stock is composed of individuals within a single species which inhabit a specific geographical area, and all of these individuals share a common gene pool, meaning there's very little immigration and emigration from the population. Therefore, it's a lot harder to define a fish stock for highly migratory species such as tuna in comparison to demersal species such as lemon sole. This concept of showing a common gene pool was further developed in a paper by Cushing's in 1968, which stated a fish stock is composed of individuals which consistently return to a single spawning ground. Now this is more straightforward when working with species such as salmon, where individuals return to spawning grounds where they themselves hatched. However, when applied to species such as cod, where their spawning grounds shift from year to year depending on environmental characteristics, it's harder to maintain this definition through time. The final aspect of defining a fish stock is that it must show consistent growth and mortality parameters across the geographic area. This is essential as we use these parameters for assessments regarding the health of the stock as well as to inform management decisions, including defining maximum sustainable yield. So to summarise, a fish stock can be defined as a group of individuals from one species living in one area with limited gene flow and where you can determine consistent growth and mortality parameters across the entire area. And this is based on the definition issued by the FAO.